Taken 3 is directed by Olivier Megaton. It stars Liam Neeson, Forrest Whitaker, Maggie Grace, Famke Jansen, Doug Ray Scott, and Sam Spruill, with its screenplay being written by Luc Besson and Robert Mark Kamen. This film fits the mold of January releases. They typically are not that great. They're utterly forgettable. The performances were the best thing going for this film. In terms of Liam Neeson, Forrest Whitaker, Famke Jansen, and Maggie Grace. Uh, Doug Ray Scott does a serviceable job as the villain slash innocent person. Going on Doug Ray Scott's character, that the whole switcheroo thing and about 98% of the rest of the screenplay slash plot were predictable. Um, I didn't like the action sequences mainly because there were so many cuts. It was very contrary to the style and aesthetic of John Wick and the way its action sequences unfolded last year in 2014. Uh, there were so many cuts from wide to close up to medium to close up to close up to medium to close up that it just took away from the action sequences and set pieces. There were only two action sequences and set pieces which I liked and that I remember. And the, the first one is the car sequence, car chase, where Brian Mills is in a cop car and he's escaping other cops. And then the other sequence is the one in the liquor store after he survives what would be impossible to survive going off a cliff in a car. Um, well, I'm not sure if it's possible or not. I don't think it's possible. Therefore, I did not like that specific action sequence. That's pretty much it. Cin cinematography was good by Eric Kress. However, I didn't think that there needed to be a handheld shaky cam in every action sequence. And that's what it appeared to be in the first, when he's first about to get arrested for the murder of a close character. And their shaky cam, I could understand why, because it's so jarring to have something framed on you, such as a murder. And I could see why there would be shaky cam to show how shaky, how shaken up Brian Mills is. But throughout the rest of the film, I don't think that that would be necessary. Because there was Taken and there was Taken 2. He's been through this sort of thing before. And I don't think that he would be as shaken up as first finding out. That, he, that close character was killed. Yeah. This movie was, was, was bearable, but it's the type of movie that you would watch while cooking dinner where you don't need to pay attention to everything that's going on because the film is predictable in the way it's going to unfold. Therefore, I give Taken 3 a D. Do you agree? Disagree? Comment down below and let me know. Like and subscribe to my channel for more reviews. And, yeah. See you later.